What is going on, guys? It's the Variety Film Brothers. I'm Andrew. I'm Thomas. Welcome back to Variety Discussion, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. Uh, first off, terrible title. I don't like that title at all. The show is called Power Rangers Turbo. Just call it Power Rangers Turbo the movie. I don't... Does that not sound a million times better? It does. I don't know. I just... I hate it when movies, like, try to get creative and quirky with their titles like that. Like, I don't know. Sometimes you can just call it what it is. But this movie is... Sort of a sequel, sort of not to the first movie. It doesn't really have to be. We did not like the first movie, so whether it is or not to us really doesn't matter. Yeah. But first off, Thomas, was this one better than the first? I think it was better than yeah. the first one. I would um, have to agree. Yeah, people are going to hate us for that already. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, to most Power Rangers fans, this is the worst movie of the entire franchise. Nah. I I don't think it is for a few reasons. Mm -hmm. But it's most certainly not good. Mm -hmm. This movie was so, so long. Yeah. Like, and it's only an hour and 40 minutes, only 10 minutes more than the first one. But it definitely felt probably twice as long. It did. It felt like Titanic. Like, <laughs> okay, don't insult Titanic <laughs> like that. <laughs> but getting on to our scores, Thomas, what is your score for this movie? I give it like a 50. Really? I gave it a 50, yeah. I gave it a 36. Yeah. So I was still down in the 30s. Point of reference, I gave the first movie a 30. This one, I think, is better, mm -hmm. but again, not by very much. I think it makes just as many mistakes, just mm -hmm. different ones. Yeah. Because, like, for an example, you know, I think the action uh, in the third act, you know, with the Megazord, the giant final battle, I do mm -hmm. think that was a step up. You know, from the atrocious CGI cringe fest that was the first one. Yeah. But it's also very quick and not well choreographed. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, we have some improvements in some areas and some downgrades in others. And it yeah. really, just overall does not make for a good viewing experience. Mm -hmm. So, starting with uh, the first scene of the movie, we open with another Star Wars ripoff title crawl. Now, people got mad at me for the first one when I said that it was ripping off Star Wars, and I'm aware Star Wars did not come up with the title, opening crawl, whatever, but this one looks even more like a Star Wars ripoff than the first one. Yeah. And, like, these movies were only two years apart. You couldn't think of a slightly more creative, different way to open up the movie than the same exact thing again. Yeah, it's a bit lazy. A, a little. Like, it was lazy to begin with, yeah. but, like, whatever. But to do it again, just... It looks even cheaper, too. Mm -hmm. it, it, like, And they even have the same angle as like the Star Wars font. It just doesn't look yeah. as good. It, but it's also really small. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't think the kids could have actually read it unless they were in the theater to see it. But, like, yeah. it just it looks terrible. Also, the th also he reads it to you anyway. So, why, why yeah. even add the words? Yeah, Jordan <laughs> just reads it, but also takes, like, a ten-second break between each paragraph. Yeah. Like, it's... Oh, it's so bad. But even worse... Than that thing, they even pan down to yeah, a planet. It's that's, like that's a Star Wars thing, right? Like the title go, like the <laughs> the title crawl goes up, and then we pan down to a planet. And I'm just like, guys, we're watching a budget Star Wars movie yeah. right now. It's actually sad. Yeah. And here's the thing: like we brought this up later on when we were watching the movie, but like the theme of these suits of Power Rangers Turbo and the Japanese season that it adapts from is cars. Like that's mm -hmm. the theme. Why are we doing all this space? And then later, all this pirate crap. Like, yeah. just, I feel like if you could just hone in on one theme and just do it really well, just mm -hmm. flesh that out, these movies wouldn't be so horrible, yeah. <laughs> you know? But, like, they don't know what they want to do, so they do 80 different things, you know? That's why in the first movie we had the dinosaur suits, and then we had the ninja suits, and we had the jungle planet, and it was just like, guys, pick pick a lane. Yeah, none of these have, like, the same thing in any of the movies. The first one was... About ninjas and dinosaurs, and then now it's just cars and pirates. <laughs> yeah, like, what's, what's the through line? Like, it, it's just, it's all over the place. Just pick something and stick to it. But we open up and we meet Larigo, some sort of wizard from this planet that is basically just a jungle. Yep. And Larigo, th this wizard, looks horrible. Yeah. I mean, it is one of the scariest looking puppets I've ever seen. I know it's not a puppet, but you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it looks just. Very unsettling. Yep. I don't know if his whole species looks like that, like the whole planet looks like that, or it's just him and his wife and his little baby kid, but they're ugly. Like, I would not expect this 
species to last much longer. Yep. I don't think this bloodline has a whole lot left in it. Yeah. I just don't know why they just can't make things look cool or like, you know, like how about maybe have the wizard character be intimidating or even like a ranger himself, you know? Mm. I don't, they just don't do anything cool with this lore. You know what I yeah. mean? It's literally just, we have a wizard from a planet and he comes to Earth. And then he's being hunted by uh, Divatox and her people. Speaking of Divatox, mm. um, they knew what they were doing with uh, the casting here. Yeah. And the uh, costume design in particular. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying she's a bad actor or anything, but they definitely did not focus on her acting. No, I mean, <laughs> they gave me two reasons to like her, so. <laughs> oh, Thomas. <laughs> I don't know if that gave me, like, it gave points for the movie for me. I don't know if it makes me like it more, or once again, like, the first movie, we had, like, like uh, basically a completely naked woman, and yeah. now we have one that's slightly more clothed, but somehow more distracting. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, it kind of, like I said in the last uh, movie's review, it kind of feels like a white flag of surrender, <laughs> and it's just like, we don't know how to keep your attention, so here are some boobs. <laughs> like... I don't. I don't know. Again, it's just weird when you take into account the the demographic. Mm-hmm. You know, the target audience. Like it's supposed to be for kids, yeah. and like I don't. I don't know. Again, I'm not necessarily complaining. It's just it's odd. Yeah. <laughs> but all the scenes with um the wizard, uh, are terrible. Um, there's just a scene where he like looks at a lion for five minutes, and then a scene where he's surrounded by monkeys for <laughs> another five minutes, and it's just. It's such a waste of time. Like, yeah. this movie, the action in it, if you can call it that, is mm-hmm. terrible. Yep. Like, there's a scene where Tommy and Kat are just going through the jungle, and a snake scares the crap out of her, and she falls off a cliff, and she tries to morph, because somehow that would get her out of the situation. Yep. But, like, the water cancels the morph. Mm-hmm. Like, the powers are literally less powerful than water. <laughs> Is that not the most lame thing you could possibly think of? See, here's the thing, right? Like, you know, this movie's called Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. They get their new Turbo powers, whatever. Um, I think, you know, we needed to see them lose their, you know, previous powers or lose a fight in their previous powers, you know? Mm Because, like, again, I don't think we got, like, halfway into the movie before we got an actual action scene. And even by then, I still don't think they had morphed. Mm-hmm. yet to fight so like here's an idea have them fight with their previous powers oh no it's not enough whatever they lose then you know we make the new powers yeah. it kind of just comes out of nowhere mm-hmm. again there's no there i don't even think there's a plot to this movie i was gonna say there's no through line but i don't even think there's really a plot diva talks kidnaps uh kimberly and jason to sacrifice them yep but, like, it's not really a plot. And then no. the rangers just get on this boat and then, like, go f- who even knows how far mm. to get to them. Like, there's no, I don't know, there's no sense of time, no sense of urgency. There's no, there's just nothing of substance really going on here. Mm-hmm. And again, with the boat, like we like we probably said a hundred times watching this movie, if the car's can drive in the water. Yep. What do they need the boat for? And again, it just like it just distracts more from the car mm-hmm. theme, the aesthetic. You know, like you know, in the Japanese season that it comes from, like it it makes sense. It's more in context. I won't get into that too much because it it doesn't really matter for the sake of this movie review. Mm-hmm. But again, like they're basically just bringing the suits and you know the zords and weapons from the Japanese season, but not making it work with new context. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to adapt it, you have to adapt it in a way that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's just... It's so crazy. Like, we've got cars, pirates, demons. Like, you know, what's even going on? I can't even stay focused in this review because I, like... I'm trying to think back to the movie and my mind's just jumping all over the place. Yeah. Like, (laughs) it's a mess. Also, like... Why? Okay, so since the Power Rangers are based on cars, why mm-hmm. do they have a pirate ship boat? Exactly. Like, that's that's what I just... I can't stand it. And how the fuck can all those cars fit in there? <laughs> yeah, like, it, how do they even get them in there? I don't care if they can float. How did they physically get the cars in there? And that's why they have to skip that whole scene, yeah. is because they knew that it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, 
I really, I don't know what they were thinking with this movie, guys. Like, you know, I knew, I know that we opened this review saying, oh, it's better than the first movie, but like, honestly, that's only because this at least, to me, something that helps it, is it at least most of the time looks like a real movie. Mm -hmm. Like, the last movie was just like, ugly CGI and just yeah. totally random stuff, but like, if you just looked at most of the, the screen caps from this movie, it would at least look like a real movie. Not that it was well shot, mm -hmm. particularly. I don't think anything um, from the cinematography was really very creative. I don't think any of the sets were anything above average. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just it's just a bland experience. Yeah. And it, it's sad, because it's this is supposed to be an action movie. Mm -hmm. Like, four kids. This is supposed to be off the walls, like, you know, crazy action, you know, just something going on every five minutes. But there's, there's nothing. There's, again, like, no, no main character in this movie. Nobody has an arc. Like, I feel like it would have been really easy to give Justin, the little kid, an arc. Mm -hmm. Because, like, going into, you know, being a Power Ranger, I feel like it'd be pretty easy to be like, for him to be like, you know, I'm not ready for this. I'm, I'm a kid. I'm, I'm not going to be okay. And then yeah. maybe he could just learn to be more confident. Something stupid and, mm -hmm. you know, simple like that. But no, like, he does a... I guess he does a good job. He, you know, does just as good as anybody else. And, mm -hmm. I mean, not that the, like, choreography in this movie is good. There's no, like, standout good choreography moments. There's actually a standout bad one that I had to write down. It's a freaking rubber band kick yep. that uh, the Yellow Ranger does on one of the turtle monsters. She just freaking grabs her ankle... And then, like, holds it for three seconds and then releases it to kick it. But, like, you, you didn't build up more tension that way. Yeah. Just stopped it and then just let it go. Dude, it's... I don't know. I really I really want to say something good about Power Rangers on this channel. And they're not helping me here. They're really not helping me. I know a lot of... Basically, everybody that commented on the last video uh, thinks I just straight up hate Power Rangers. And it's like... No, I'm a like a huge fan of it. I like it more than the majority of people. But I I, I have to be honest. I think they fumbled with these movies pretty yeah. badly, and I think it probably really hurt Power Rangers mm -hmm. back in the day. You know, like and this season, Power Rangers Turbo specifically got such low ratings that it almost ended up like getting the whole show canceled. Yeah. And I can I can see why. I haven't mm -hmm. seen all of Power Rangers Turbo, but if it's anything like this movie, I wouldn't watch it. I would not either. And it's it, it's a shame, dude. It's I would like to add though, uh, one of her um, Chase and that one chick. What's her name? Oh, <laughs> Jason and Kimberly. Jason and uh, Kimberly. Yeah, we're trapped in that um, weird bunker. Yeah, in the, in the ship. They, yeah, in the ship. After they get kidnapped to be used for like. Human sacrifices. I swear, yeah. Power Rangers movies, they have one really dark element. But they surround <laughs> it by just the dumbest crap you've ever yep. seen, so you wouldn't know. Anyway, what, what were you saying? The way that they, like, they were trapped, and like mm -hmm. their idea about getting out was like kind of the right thing, but they were just like, fuck it, let's just open it. <laughs> yeah, so like they're 400 feet underwater, you know, trapped, but somehow they also just have direct access to a giant mm -hmm. like door that just leads straight out of the ship. Yeah. Um, what, like, what were they going to do if they were on land? <laughs> were they just going to be able to get right out? Probably. <laughs> but, but so, like, then they're like, okay, we're 400 feet underwater, and, uh, let's just open the door and just swim out. Yep. And, like, but again, they, they open the door, right? They somehow get it open, despite all the pressure. And then, once they get it fully open, the water just stops at a certain point, and then mm -hmm. somehow... Divatox is able to just drain all the water out of the ship. Also, not only are they able to stop thousands and thousands of pounds of pressure from the water, once they were able to open that door, there's like, wait, there's people here we need to rescue. Yeah, they just remembered Vulcan <laughs> and Skull are in the other room, and they're not even in, like, locked jail cells. Mm -hmm. All they need to do is twist something, and it opens the door. Yep. And guys, like, maybe you should have done that. Before you <laughs> let the entire freaking ocean into yep. your your room, like kind of funny how like the water like stops at a certain point, so it doesn't fill up all the way. Yeah, they have the door fully open for yep. like ten minutes. Who knows? And then the water just stops <laughs> once it reaches just enough for them to have their heads up at the very top of the room. Like that's not how water placement works, and it's no. just there's just no tension in any of this scene at all. They really want you to be afraid for these characters, yeah. and. Like, when you frickin' just don't 
obey the rules of water, you yeah. know? How are we supposed to be worried in the slightest? No. And it's just, I don't know what they were thinking, man. I don't know what they were thinking. And then um, later, whenever um, uh, Jason is still trapped in there with the door somehow closed again with yeah, somehow, all the bolts in it. <laughs> somehow he got the door closed again and all the water out of the room. And then he's just standing in there like, oh, hey, guys. <laughs> What's up? I could hear you guys, by the way, just just so you know. <laughs> I mean, they were only one like room apart. Yeah. So, like, really, Diva Talks and her people probably should have heard their whole plan. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, again... When the movie is so fundamentally broken, like the little things don't even matter anymore. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then we've got the uh, the scene where they just hit that giant wall of like ooze, oh, ooze water. That was so. And bad. it looks so bad, so bad. Like I don't understand. It, like they filmed it in such a way to where like you could tell they didn't know how they were gonna make this work in post. Mm-hmm. Like they they reuse a bunch of shots. This movie does that a lot. Like you'll see the same shot just twice or maybe even three times Mm -hmm. and like you can just tell there was not a plan once they got to the editing room yeah you know like for the special effects for even just the pacing Mm -hmm. okay so i'm trying to get my i'm trying to get my thoughts straight okay so they get to the island because they want to sacrifice kimberly and jason yeah their their escape plan doesn't really work Mm -hmm. kimberly just washes back up on the beach i hate that with when that happens in movies. That does not happen in real life. Like, you can't yeah. just toss yourself out on the ocean and be like, oh, it's fine, I'll just wash up on the nearest shore. Like, no. No. But yeah. but then Kimberly's discovered by cannibals or something, and then they bring her to Diva Talks for some reason, even though I don't think they know her at all. No. And uh, so they get pushed into fire, uh, the fire pit of evil, <laughs> and then their eyes turn red. Uh, and they turn more sexy, yeah. and um, just some of the worst choreography I've ever seen ensues. Everything that happens in that volcano is really some of the only action that we see in the whole movie, mm-hmm. and it's not good. You've got kicks missing by three or four feet, yep. just horrible uh, you know, placing going on, so you don't really know where anybody is in the room at any given time. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of these weapons also are horrible. Please tell me what Yellow Ranger's weapons are. Staples. <laughs> like, they're basically staples with giant handles. Like, is yep. it supposed to be some kind of, like, you know, knuckle weapon? Really weird brass knuckle. Because, like, and we don't even see that it has, like, any added strength. Don't they all shoot at the one thing? Yeah, there's also a shot where every single one of the rangers just starts shooting at the demon monster thing. Yep. And, like, Tommy's got a sword. Please tell me why the blade of his sword is just shooting laser beams like you've got two of your rangers that have guns Mm -hmm. giant ones by the way which just ruin any good practical use and then one with a bow not really very car like Mm -hmm. but like whatever just fine at this point why not yep and then so everybody's shooting at the demon and it it does nothing because like why would their weapons be cool right why would they do anything cool you know, really, that's a, just a good question for this whole movie, is why would they do anything cool? <laughs> why, why was I expecting that? Yeah. But, you know, like, I, I guess I'm happy that at least they didn't, like, butcher the suits. Mm. Like, they're the same suits we see in the show directly, the Japanese designs. And, like, they just, they look more Power Ranger-like, at least, mm-hmm. you know? So I'm glad they didn't mess something up, but can you give them points for something they didn't do? I don't know. Oh. I already gave it a, what, a 36? Yeah. I forgot now, dude. I, I forgot to. Like I said earlier, they beat uh, the giant demon thing with their Megazord in a scene that, again, does look better than the Megazord scene from the first movie, but also mm. the the Megazord suit just looks like it has really tiny arms. Yeah. Like, I don't know how they messed that up, but, like, the proportions just do not look right. And, like, it, it's a very quick scene, you know? It, it doesn't have you bored for very long. Mm -hmm. at least, you know. So they hit it really hard. It does a giant front flip off the cliff and then explodes even though it lands in water. But, like, it's Power Rangers. Everything's got to (laughs) explode. So, you know, why why worry about it now? Um, And then we end the uh, movie in kind of a bizarre way. So it is established earlier in the movie they're on some kind of karate team. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't even establish that. It just shows them randomly doing karate in a boxing ring. Yeah. Yeah. so, like, whatever. I kind of just assumed, like, 
you, they were doing it recreationally. They were just like, oh, it's bored. Like, we're bored. It's a Saturday. Let's go kick the crap out of each other in a boxing ring, you know, like teenagers do. Yep. Um, but no, they're on some kind of karate team. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're just doing this weird three-on-three in a boxing ring. And, guys, I don't know anything about karate. I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about this. Um, but it's just, I don't know what's going on. And then, but, you know, the Rangers win because, you know, they have to. Um, and, like, pretty effortlessly, too. Mm-hmm. They could have at least, like, had him struggle for a little bit. But, like, yeah. ugh, why Why put any nuance or anything interesting in the movie, really? Mm-hmm. Um, it's over. It doesn't matter, you know? <laughs> so they win. They get the big check. Um, goes to all the, you know, sick little kids or whatever. Um, and then the movie ends. Yeah. And it's like... It's really, it's really just uh, an experience, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's it's just crazy how you can have movies that are supposed to be so crazy, so action oriented, be this bland. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it really, it it really is kind of amazing. Yeah, it's amazing how awful you can make it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a shame, but the damage has been done. Yeah, like this movie is over twenty five years old at this point, and there's a reason why nobody's talking about it anymore. It does nothing innovative. It does nothing interesting. The characters are flat. Once again, Thomas, can you tell me any of the Rangers' names? Tommy, mm-hmm. Jason, right? I mean, Jason isn't a Ranger in this movie, but he was before, so okay. I'll, I'll give you points okay, for okay. it. Why not? Was it Catherine? Or yeah. Cassidy? Is that her? Catherine. Catherine, okay. And would you count Rocky as one? Yeah, I mean, he was one. Like, he was in the first movie as Red. So, yeah, I mean, again, you get kind of half a point. Okay. Um, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, they don't give these characters character. Nope. They don't give them arcs. They don't give them really much of anything. Just the blandest of stereotypes. You just kind of have Tommy as the fearless leader. Uh, Kat is normally the scared oh, little Kat, girl. That's right. Oh, I mean, her name's Catherine, but they call her Kat. Oh, I thought it should do so, that. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes, there's it, really not... No, oh, okay. I can't blame you. There's really not much reason to be invested in these people. And again, I think that's probably the movie's biggest mistake yet again, is they just aren't willing to give these Rangers character arcs. And mm-hmm. I think that's just... What keeps you feeling so distant from the movie is that there's just nobody that you latch on to mm-hmm. and really like very much. Yeah. Not that they're, like, unlikable, I guess, but mm-hmm. it's just, I don't know, there's nobody for you to, like, look at and be like, hey, I like this person, or hey, I think they're cool, or hey, I would I want to see them, you know, I want to see something good happen for them. It's just, I don't know. No wonder it really hurt Power Rangers' reputation to have two bad movies in a row. And again, I'm sure the kids loved it. I'm sure, you know, it It made the money back, at least. But, like, I really think this franchise would have benefited a lot from having two really strong movies mm-hmm. really early in its run. I think that really would have helped push it forward a lot more. Yeah. And, I mean, it would last a while longer, but, mm-hmm. again, nobody's going back to this movie. Nobody's saying anything about this movie now, except for us, because we just don't have anything better to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's fair. Yeah, but uh, I think that's really all I have to say about the movie. I just usually whenever you make a first movie, you're just like, okay, we have this. Now let's hear the people's feedback. Mm-hmm. And then I'm assuming they got the people's feedback and just like, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna make another movie that doesn't do the that that that, that does do the exact same thing as the first, but just a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, really, I think the only thing they listened about was the Megazord. Part. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's, that's literally it. the only thing because. Again, it suffers from a lot of the same problems, just a horrible, horrible pacing, you know, yeah. no action, mm-hmm. and just bland characters. Yeah. I, I think this movie honestly sucked a little bit of the soul out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it to this point in the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.